Well, welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. So uh, I'm really excited today to kind of pass on some uh, new first appearance information that I'd sort of come across here in the last few days. And it's uh, regarding Batman Beyond's uh, first appearances, both sort of in the DC continuity and as well as just his first overall appearance too. But uh, um, for his first appearance in DC continuity, I was uh, sort of steered in the direction here by an Instagram post. By uh, It was uh, Batman underscore Beyond Comics on Instagram. He had reposted something from Batcave Comics, all one word on Instagram. And uh, the graphics sort of showed four other comic books that sort of predated B uh, Superman Batman Annual Number 4 as Batman Beyond's sort of first appearance in the DC continuity. I'll have the graphic up here and definitely check out, the, you know, those guys' Instagram. I, yeah, Batman underscore Beyond Comics is always kind of on top of the uh, newest Batman Beyond news for sure. Um, so... Yes, this book, uh, this sort of graphic got me looking at some of these other uh, first appearances, and there's also a detail of the overall first appearance, uh, which I got, you know, Batman Beyond number one here first, Terry McGinnis, that I want to get into here as well. So two books to focus on. The first one here is a Batman Beyond number two, and uh, Batman Beyond number two, you're probably thinking like, why number two? Uh, so in number one here, you get the first appearance of Terry McGinnis and everything, which is cool. You know, he's Batman Beyond for sure. And uh, But in a, sort of a little known fact is um, he does not put on the Batman Beyond costume until issue two. So uh, in issue two, it's sort of first Terry McGinnis in the Batman Beyond costume. And I just think that's really underappreciated. I think everyone sort of, you know, just by sort of unconsciously believes that Terry sort of in the Batman Beyond suit, you know, in this book. And obviously, the cover, I, I get that he's on the cover in the Batman Beyond suit, but within the story, uh, he doesn't get into the Batman Beyond suit. Uh, one little detail is, like, they do show Bruce Wayne in the Batman Beyond suit, so, you know, uh, th this is a really small detail, but I still think it's underappreciated. And you get a really nice, um, or, yeah, in uh, Batman Beyond number two, you get a really nice page of, like, you know, Terry in the new suit and everything, so... Yeah, I think it's a bit of an underappreciated key issue that I, I just sort of realized this uh, talking to a couple people on the team. It was like a month ago, and, you know, I really wanted to make a video on it, and then I thought it was the perfect time to make a video realizing some of the other information about uh, Batman Beyond's first appearance in the DC continuity, which we'll get to shortly here. Batman Beyond number two, though, in the CGC 9.8, there are 12 CGC 9.8s in the blue label. Yeah, for first Terry McGinnis in the Batman Beyond suit. So sort of Batman Beyond as we know him, this is kind of the first appearance. Yeah, like I just think that's super underappreciated about this book. And considering there's only 12, like there's not a lot of people getting this graded, like Batman number one, Beyond number one, which there's like almost 200 of them in the 9.8. So a 63.2%, the CGC 9.8 ratio. So yeah, of all graded copies, 63.2% of them are 9.8s. Not a lot graded. Yeah, more about the kind of 1 of 12. So uh, price for this one, Batman Beyond number 2, it's really underappreciated, this sort of aspect of it. Um, it is the first cameo of Blight. I've heard that sort of mentioned more as, it, as this being the key issue, uh, you know, the first cameo of Blight. Um, but I think it's the first Terry McGinnis in the Batman Beyond costume that is that why this should be a, bi a bigger key issue, certainly, than it is. Because, uh, yeah, it sells for about $150, I think, a normal price in the CGC 9.8. Um, you know, maybe in an auction you get it super lucky for, like, $130, because, yeah, I think it's completely, like, overlooked and underappreciated, so it sells like it's just, uh, you know, not even a key issue of uh, the Batman Beyond series of the six books. Uh, so, yeah, I think at that price, there's a lot of potential. Yeah, I think uh, once people get, realize that, yeah, this is the first time Terry's in the costume. So this is the first time we see Batman Beyond as we know Batman Beyond in all of comic books. So, you know, besides the cover. <laughs> gotta, gotta always do that caveat. But within the storyline, it kind of happens naturally, so that's how I view it. So Batman Beyond 2, I just think it's so underappreciated, $150 if you can swing that, I think it's that's 100% worth it to, to buy this in the CGC 9.8. I could see this as it gets more appreciated, with Batman Beyond being, a lot of them getting gobbled up for like $950 in the CGC 9.8. I could see this one maybe popping up to like three, $400 just based on, 
you know, more people uh, getting this book graded and being known that this is, yeah, first Terry McGinnis in the Batman Beyond costume. So, uh, I got super lucky uh, this morning. I um, was doing research for this video, I had this video idea, and I saw Batman Beyond number 2, CGC 9.8, in Canada for $150, and I just bought it. I, I kind of just instantly bought it. And uh, there was a little bit of taxes on it, so I think when I did the exchange and everything, it ended up being like $164 American, plus a, a little bit of shipping, but it was a decent shipping price uh, in Canada. But uh, yeah, with taxes, I'll, we'll call it $165, I guess. So when I got one literally hours ago doing the research for this video, one of 12, which is cool. For this underappreciated book, yeah, and this is, yeah, one I, I, I'm going to recommend. I think it's one that, again, where if you can get something for like 150 or something like that, and it has that potential to really do well, and I think, yeah, that fact that this is the first Terry McGinnis in the Batman Beyond costume is underappreciated about a Batman Beyond number two. Kind of a cover where I didn't really like it, but it is a Bruce Tim cover, so you get that classic, like, Batman Beyond artist, legend, uh... Batman animated series legend doing the art, uh, and the cover kind of grows on you, yeah, with the mix, Mr. Fix cover kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I did a broad out, I got two raws, because I got the full uh, uh, range of Batman Beyond, the original one to six, uh, two times over in the raws, so I got two of these, but I brought out one, just so you can kind of see it, but I'll put up the 9.8 graphic for sure. So Batman Beyond number two, yeah, uh, glad to kind of recommend that one, because I think it is one of those underappreciated ones that not a lot of people are thinking about. So let's get into uh, some of these books uh, that predate Superman Batman Annual Number 4, because I had mentioned I had just bought that one. Now, that book still is the first uh, cover appearance of Batman and Beyond. You know, really cool art germ cover. Like, it's cool. So, not too, too bummed that, that I purchased it. I think as a Batman Beyond fan, it's one to have, and I'm a huge Batman Beyond fan. But, I want to talk about here, Superman Batman Number 22. Yeah, so Superman Batman Number 22 is from, um, you know, certainly Batman underscore Beyond Comics and Batcave Comics on Instagram. I'm kind of, you know, uh, looking at some of their research that they did for sure. It's the first appearance of Batman Beyond in DC continuity. So, you know, pretty cool cover on this one. And uh, I was really interested and I kind of went online and I wanted to read this comic online to kind of really see, you know, what the first appearance was all about. Maybe it was like a minor panel or something like that. But um, I'll put up a graphic right now, and the first appearance is pretty cool. It's He gets his full page, so he gets a, a Batman Beyond gets a full page in it, and he's kind of tied up Bizarro Superman, um, and kind of comes down and, and has an, uh, Ed McGinnis you know, penciling on this artist. So, yeah, really cool full page, first appearance uh, in Superman Batman number 22 of Batman Beyond. And he only is on this one page, so... Um, you know, maybe you can argue like it's the first cameo or, you know, the first brief appearance. Um, and we will talk about the next issue after this in a little more detail. But Superman Batman number 22 in the 9.8. There's only seven of them out there in the CGC 9.8. So super underfollow, but one to hunt. And, um, you know, there's only 12 of Batman Beyond number two. So these are really kind of underfollowed ones in the 9.8. Um, certainly, if you can find some great raws and get them graded too, these are good candidates to do that as well. 63.6% uh, .6 of all graded copies for Superman Batman number 22 are 9.8, so yeah, it re looks really similar to kind of Batman Beyond number 2. Yeah, they're really just kind of two really underfollowed Batman Beyond key issues to look for. So, kind of speculating here on the price for Superman Batman uh, 22, it really is still really underfollowed. So I think, you know, maybe if you're super patient in an auction and one of those seven pop up, you get it around like 125 to 150. Um, I would think most of the people that are selling this in the 9.8 know that it's the first appearance of Batman Beyond. Um, so yeah, I would think, you know, maybe, maybe even closer to 150. But who knows, you could get lucky and uh, get it for maybe even less because it's certainly not a well, um, you know, searched key. That's one of the big positives for this book. So yeah, it's a legit first appearance. That's why, you know, I wanted to make sure it's a pretty cool cover. It doesn't have Batman Beyond on the cover, obviously, but a legit first appearance. He gets a full page in this one. So that, yeah, this is just one to look out for. And even with this one, I went out and grabbed a rock copy. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, really, there is not very many on, um, uh, eBay right now that are kind of reasonably priced uh, in, in my opinion, but there was one in Australia, a raw copy, 
that I just ended up kind of taking a decent shipping to, but just kind of taking a bit of a chance getting it shipped over from us. So we'll see how that works out. But I'm still on the lookout for some Superman Batman number 22s in the raw, and that may be one of those seven CGC 9.8s. Okay, so, um, yeah, I mentioned on a sneak peek on the video there that I bought a Superman Batman annual number four, and I mentioned on that video that it was the first appearance in, in DC continuity. Well, that was wrong. Yeah, definitely, there's a couple other books before that predate that book. Again, though, first cover appearance and kind of a really cool collector item for Batman Beyond fan, I think, still. But um, let's talk about the four books. The one book was Superman Batman 22, just kind of went through that, and that's the sort of overall recommendation that I would I would say is just to buy that one because I really love it. I kind of got that graphic of the page. Like I was like, this is a cool page. Like Ed McGinnis just killed it. A, a, a Batman Beyond. Looks really cool. So Superman Batman 22 to get. Superman Batman number 23. Then uh, next issue right after that I guess would be the second appearance. But in this book, Superman Batman 23, uh, he gets, he's on like three pages I think. So, you could maybe think that Superman Batman 22 is the, you know, maybe first cameo appearance, even though it's a cool full page, so I, I do think that is the first appearance. But you could make the argument that Batman Superman number 23 is the first full appearance of Batman Beyond in DC continuity, because, yeah, he's in, like, three panels, I think it is, or something like that. Not a major character, but, and I think they show his, like, futuristic bat uh, wing in it as well. Um, so Superman Batman number 23, pretty cool cover on that one, is the second appearance or the first full appearance, depending on how you want to argue it, and I think is one worth going after as well, and there, there was one in Canada in the Raw, and I picked up one of these in the Raw for like 10 bucks, it was really cheap, so this one's even more under the radar than 22, but, um, so the next one is, um, it's, uh, the 21 Countdown to Final Crisis, issue number 12. And um, I didn't look too, too much into these last two issues, but I did want to mention them and just get up a graphic up here of these comics because, yeah, this comic and the next comic we'll talk about have Batman Beyond um, appearances before Superman Batman Annual number 4. Yeah, I didn't look up these ones, so I'm not sure if it's a panel or what, but uh, maybe ones to consider. 21 Countdown to Final Crisis number 12. Um, you know, the cover's not really that appealing, so I chose to really focus on Superman Batman 22, and I think that would be my recommendation, too. But also, uh, Justice League of America number 43 apparently has an earlier appearance of Batman Beyond 2. Didn't look for this one either, uh, kind of tried to, re I didn't look to read it online or anything, because I do not have these two. But, once to consider, and decent cover on this one, I think, but, um, yeah, you know what, four books there that are have some appearances of Batman Beyond that predate Superman Batman Annual 4. So yeah, I was definitely wrong in that last video, and, um, you know, I'm still pretty pumped to get Superman Batman Annual 4, because, um, you know, they kind of go around the price that I bought it at, so I think, uh, you know, I got a decent price for it. But um, some of these other books are really good candidates for just underfollowed, underfollowed, underappreciated key issues that you could buy for, yeah, hopefully right around, a, like, uh, less than $150 in the CGC 9.8 right now, hopefully, even though there's not many of them, but certainly, yeah, ones to buy in the raw and maybe get them graded as well. Uh, so, yeah, you know what, uh, yeah, just concluding up with, you know, I think my my top recommendations would be the two that we talked about. Yeah, I think Batman Beyond number two in the CGC 9.8, if you can, swing that. I just got so lucky this morning. I think is just a pretty underfollowed one that, again, has the first Terry McGinnis in the Batman Beyond costume. In Batman Beyond 2, it's not he's not in Batman Beyond number 1 in the costume yet, in this issue, except on the cover. And uh, Superman Batman number 22, first appearance of Batman Beyond in the DC continuity, gets a nice one page by Ed McGinnis. Uh, yeah, this is one to go for, and one that has a lot of potential. Yeah, and I think right now you can kind of get in on the you know, very beginning of, uh, you know, I think what could be a really, you know, uh, this could be a well-wanted book, I think, because I certainly, as a big Batman Beyond fan, and, you know, not following, like, the news or the, you know, promotions too, too much, um, you know, I was kind of behind on this one, but, um, you know, certainly, yeah, so thankful to kind of follow a couple people on Instagram that got that info out there, so yeah, it was a Batman underscore Beyond Comics, and uh, Bat Cave Comics. So yeah, they seem to be certainly on the uh, Batman Beyond News and Batman News more so than I am. 
But uh, yeah, I would recommend to buy those the two ones we focus on at sort of near a fair price. And uh, you know, obviously, you want to buy Batman Beyond number one too. This isn't like oh, Batman Beyond's terrible now because no, like you still get you know you still see Bruce Wayne in the Batman Beyond costume. You still get Terry on the, the costume on the cover. Uh, so Batman Beyond number one is great, but um, it's so expensive now, especially in the CGC nine point eight. That Batman Beyond number two might might be a little more in your budget. And, um, even if it's, you know, I, and I think, I think it's just one to buy. I think it's underappreciated. Yeah. For that reason, certainly. All right. Uh, thanks so much for watching today. Yeah. G glad I could, uh, get some new info because I, yeah, I was really excited to, in the last few days here, you know, buying a couple of raws obviously and got lucky this morning. So yeah, really excited to kind of get this info information out to everyone about all the uh, details regarding first appearance of Batman Beyond. Yeah. In both overall comic books and in DC continuity. So uh, yeah, if you haven't already, I would uh, invite you to join the team and subscribe to Team CGC 9.8. Yeah, I would love to have you on our comic book collecting and comic book investing team. And hit the bell for all the latest notifications. Add me on Instagram and Twitter too as well. But yeah, so, you know, uh, really glad to kind of, yeah, these are sort of two other books that I'm sort of really excited to kind of hunt now, which is always nice. And yeah, always learning something new with this hobby. And this is kind of that time in the, you know, they came out, I think it was like 2005, Superman, Batman, 22. I was right out of the hobby during that time, so I really like learning about books during this time frame. But thank you again for watching. Message me on Instagram if uh, you do have any messages about whatever it might be. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.